Hey guys, this is Epic Epics here. Today I will be bringing you guys a Batrider Jungle Guide. This will be in the perspective of the Radiant. I will be going over the skill build, how to do it, and the item build. Basically, I want you guys to be able to free farm your Tranquil Boots along with your Blink Dagger in the first 10 minutes of the game, preferably around the 8 to 9 minute mark. Now, First, what you want to do is stack the small neutral cramp here and then firefly on top of it at the one minute after you stack it once. Meaning, after you clear the two small creep camps, you will get your level 2 and you will get your sneaky napalm. On the dire side, this camp will be right here, the small creep camp. This stacked once from the one minute mark, you will be able to burn it down after you salve up with one firefly and then just right click away at all of these units. Firefly does 20 damage for 18 duration meaning it will do somewhere around 400 damage and most of these creeps as you see here have around that number of health points. Afterwards you want to stack this creep camp right here and this is the equivalent on the dire side of this creep camp. Creeps spawn every one minute, so you want to pull around the 53 to 54. Sorry, there's a display bug. Uh, there should not be these stack numbers. But anyways, after you stack up this creep camp, the equivalency of this camp right here, you want to start stacking up your napalm that you have just gotten. Uh, with level 1 napalm, usually at 3 or 4, you're safe to start burning it. Once you start burning, you want to stack one more and continue to stack until they die because napalm does have a duration and you do not want it to run out because once it runs out 20 damage per second would not be enough to take off these big creeps now after you clear this because you stack this at the one minute you stack this at the two minute you should have uh you should be around two minutes something mark at here this point you want to stack once again the small creep camp right here i'm going to speed up the video while I talk and while the bat rider goes to heal. So on this side it will be stack this once, kill it, get level 2, stack this to the 2 minute, kill it, come back, stack this, at 3 minutes go back to heal. Here, going back to heal here. Now, you want to get your tranquil boots first because firefly depends on the distance you fly over, right? And with mo higher movement speed you can cover a larger area. Also, I want to explain, uh, once you come back, please stack this. That way you kill one st uh, a stack camp over here and a stack camp over here. Now, why you want to level Napalm? Napalm, every level only gives extra 5 damage, right? A level 2 Firefly, on the other hand, would be much more effective. Well, first of all, no. Because you will be stacking, as you see here, a much higher number of Napalm. And also, Napalm is extra damage every instance of damage, where Firefly is not one instant of damage every second. It's multiple instances. So the way Napalm and Firefly stacks actually does a lot more damage than just the extra damage that it states. So here, after you cleared those two camps, you want to stack this camp once, and then you want to start doing damage. The equivalent would be this camp. However, I want to point out something that with creep camps such as the Golem, you'll be unable to, uh, to kill. And Unfortunately for the dire side, golems could spawn in this point. Now if golems did spawn in this point, you could check if this is blocked, if not you could pull it. If it is golems and uh, this creep spawn is blocked, then you would, prefer, uh, you would just have to resort to doing these two camps, stacking it each time and making the most out of this. However, uh, with the radiant side, you have more dynamics, and as you see, I saw here after clearing this, I decided to stack this creep camp. And at this point of the game right now, Bad Rider six minutes in uh, around free farm of uh, dual lane, a much higher free farm experience than a dual lane, as a matter of fact. And uh, around the seven minute mark after I clear this camp, I will be able to get my level six and almost halfway to my blink dagger. Now as you see why I mentioned Tranquil Boots, because once you run, your path will continue to burn. And because it continues to burn, you will manage to actually clear all of these three creep camps. And on the dire side, it will be this three. Now I made a minor mistake where it actually delayed my farm. First was blocking this creep camp. Second of all was not running to here and stacking this for another time. But regardless, it's not a big deal. I come back. 
I sticky main pump this twice now because of the higher level. Then turning around, stacking all of this uh, with napalm, and I realized I blocked this. So I meant I actually take home one less camp here and one less camp here. With these two camps around the eight something minute mark, uh, as bad rider, I would have already gotten my blink dagger. Uh, as you guys see. However, it's not a big deal. At the 9 minute mark, I just burn through these creep camps and I will have enough for my blink dagger. Now, I want to reiterate everything I've said in this video. Basically, you guys want to basically you guys want to stack this creep camp with this creep camp on the dire side. On the sentinel side as I showed in this tutorial, you guys want to be doing these two camps primarily in the beginning and then coming here stacking whatever extra camps that you ha that, that allows you because this camp spawns mud golems so does this on the dire side so does this and mud golems it's not something you can firefly unfortunately and that may slow down your farm however as you see even with the mistake of not stacking this at the nine minute mark you're able to get your level seven and your blink beggar and tranquil boots you can start making a huge impact inside your game. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Once again, if you guys need any of the timing down, I mentioned it multiple times in the video, just go back to it. Please, guys, let me know if this was helpful, and please comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys next time.